We're glad to have Mr. Massey back with us. And the uh, next five minutes belong to you, Congressman. Thank you, Chairman. Um, Director Ray, how many counter snipers were present at the rally that day, and which of the counter snipers took the shot that took out the would-be assassin? Uh, I don't. I don't have the number of counter snipers. I know it was the Secret Service uh, counter sniper who who took the uh, the shot that uh, eliminated the shooter. Um, and we've conducted a number of interviews, including of of him. So not was it one of the two that we see in the videos on top of the roof, or was it a different location that I, shot? I, I'm afraid I don't have that at my fingertips here. Okay, you mentioned that. Uh, the would-be assassin bought a five-foot ladder. You have a credit card evidence of that. But it looks like on the scene there was a larger ladder that he might have used. Do you know which ladder he used to get to the roof? And do you have possession of that five-foot ladder and the other ladder? And do you know how the taller ladder got to the scene? So this whole business about the ladder is something we're drilling into more. Um, uh, we do have possession uh, of the... Uh, the five-foot ladder that he purchased um, close in time to uh, his attempted assassination, uh, that we traced the purchase of that ladder from a receipt, a bloodied receipt uh, that he had on him at the time his body was recovered on the roof. Um, uh, we do not yet know for sure how exactly he got up on the roof. We're looking at you know, various forensic pieces to try to kind of piece that together. So more to come on that. Do you, um, do you know where the five-foot ladder was found or retrieved? Was it near the roof or was it in, still in his vehicle? Uh, it, neither. Um, I, I, I don't have it in front of me, but I know that it was not, uh, I know that it was not on scene and I know that it was not in his vehicle. Uh, but I can, we can circle back to you. And okay. Get to that. Um, is there any evidence at all that he may have been in contact with somebody else before this occurred that may have had any prior knowledge or may have helped him plan this event? Well, needless to say, that, that is a question that we're intensely focused on because that would obviously be incredibly meaningful. Uh, so far, underline, so far, we have not found any evidence uh, of any accomplices or co-conspirators, uh, foreign or domestic. And you're using geolocation data to see if his cell phone was near another cell phone, I presume? Right. We're doing lots of different kinds of cellular analysis, uh, geolocation stuff, looking at his accounts. Uh, he, he, from everything we've seen, um, which is consistent with what we've learned in interviews, you know, a lot of people describe him as a loner. That does kind of fit with what we're seeing in his devices, you know, his, his list of contacts, for example. Uh, is very short, you know, compared to what you would normally see from, from most people. So it doesn't appear to be a whole lot of interaction between him, uh, you know, face-to-face -face or digital with a lot of people. Okay, thank you. That doesn't I mean there's not any, and that's why we're drilling into We're trying to talk to anybody who's had any engagement with him whatsoever, digital, you know, in-person, classmates, coworkers, right. et cetera. Appreciate that. And now I want to talk about another possible assassination attempt. And I'll start by showing a, a video of President Biden. And this is from recently. This is in the last month, if the, we can play that. Gallows erected to hang the Vice President, Mike Pence. I think it's fair to say it's one of the darkest days in the history of America. Okay, and he's, he's referring to January 6th. Were there gallows erected to hang Mike Pence, as the president says here? Uh, I, I'm not aware of any physical gallows. I can't remember whether from a demonstration perspective there may not have been some um, um, kind of replica or, or yeah. symbol of something like that. That's, a, that's my impression. Can we show, uh, can you raise that up so you can see it? It looks like there, there was some kind of prop that was built. The, uh, the construction doesn't look like it lends itself to actually hanging somebody. It's more of a prop, I think, as you suggested, that was erected on January 6th. Uh, but if the president were correct, that this, these gallows were erected to hang Mike Pence, that would be a very serious allegation, wouldn't it? I would take it very seriously, yes. Is, has anybody been uh, arrested, or do you have any leads in conjunction with the uh, erection of this uh, gallows? We had a, a picture here on the screen, if you can show it uh, again. 
It was just up there. There was, there's an individual here who's seen on, near this, these gallows. Has he been arrested? Have you identified this person? You know, I don't, I don't know that I could speak to this specific person or, or the, uh, the gallows that are pictured on the image. You know, we have had, I think, 850 people who have pled guilty uh, to federal crimes uh, related to January 6th, and I think, uh, you know, another 180, I think it is, convicted uh, at trials. Um, so and it's, I, I just, I can't be sure. It, and yeah. some of them merely for going into the Capitol, but here the president suggests that individual intended to hang Vice President Pence, uh, which is, it seems like kind of a wild claim myself, given the construction of those gallows, but if we are to take him seriously, or even if we aren't, <clears throat> we're, let me just finish by saying this. If you have no leads or you're not sure if anybody who erected those gallows was arrested or is being investigated, uh, you know, were there any confidential human uh, sources involved from the FBI or any other agency in the erection of that prop, those gallows? I'm not aware of anything like that. All right. Thank you. I yield back.